Hello chess lovers, Sonin here and in this video I want to share with you mega exciting attacking game played by Soviet Armenian chess grandmaster Rafael Vahanian. His opponent is American chess grandmaster Samuel Reshevsky and the game was played in 1976 in Skopje. In this game Reshevsky had white pieces and he opened up with e4 to which Vahanian answered with e6. He's going for his favorite French defense, knight d2 Tarash variation. Knight f6, e5, we see the closed variation, f4, c5, c3, knight c6, knight d f3, and queen a5. Other popular alternatives are c takes d4 or queen b6. Rook b8 also leads to an interesting game, followed by b5, queen b6, and then b4. Uh, in the game we see queen a5 and king f2. This is a well-known theoretical move with which white is moving away his king from e1, a5 diagonal, and is preparing to develop the light squared bishop. Uh, white will then castle by hand no problem at all. Uh, after uh, queen a5 usually black is then going for b5 b4 but Vanyan had different ideas and he played bishop e7, bishop d3, queen b6, knight e2 f6, black is bombarding white center from all possible sides and king g3. Uh, this time white is moving away his king from g1 a7 diagonal. But strangely after c takes d4, c takes d4 castling, instead of hurrying up with h3 in order to find a safe shelter for his king on h2, white played rook e1 and this is something which allowed black to unleash a very dangerous attack. You can pause the video and try to find Vahanian's next moves. Ready? Vahanyan's hawk eye instantly spotted that this king on g3 is awkwardly placed and he went for e5. He's hurrying to open up the position as soon as possible in order to target white king. In here knight c3 could prolong white's resistance, could allow white to put a tough defense but instead we see f takes e5. Uh, we will cover the sidelines once I finish uh, the main game. Uh, and after f takes e5, another heavy blow followed, knight takes e5, d takes e5, and another spectacular move by Vahanian. Can you find that move? Ready? This time we see bishop h4 sacrifice, guys. Black is exposing white king further and is relying on the weakness of the f file. You can't win the bishop with the knight because of this queen f2 checkmate. That's why white played king h4, after which another heavy blow followed, and this time we see rook takes f3. What's going on on the board, guys? Uh, let's take a look at those sacrifices once again. e5, and then knight takes e5, and then bishop h4, and then rook takes f3. This is crazy, guys. Uh, white didn't dare to accept the rook sacrifice, and instead played rook f1. Uh, if g takes f3 then this is simple, white king will get checkmated very soon. If knight g3 then queen h2 followed by queen h6 checkmate. Uh, that's why in the game we see rook f1 and queen b4 check, bishop f4, queen e7 check. On g1 a7 diagonal the queen has already done its job and now with this beautiful maneuver Vanyan is switching it into the attack uh, from another angle. Bishop g5, queen e6, this time queen g4 is the threat. Bishop f5 and rook takes f5. Knight f4, queen takes e5. Black is totally dominating the position and victory is just a matter of moves. Uh, well, uh, at this point white could force an exchange of queens but in the end of the day, black is just a piece up. That's why Reshevsky played queen g4 and rook f7, attacking white queen at the same time keeping the 7 frank strong. Queen h5, knight e7. This time black knight is coming to harass white king. g4 covering the f5 square, but this time black announced a check from g6. You can't capture on g6 because of this queen takes h2 checkmate. That's why white played king g3 and bishop d7. Now black will switch his last piece into the attack. Rook e1, queen d6, 
bishop h6 this is a desperation even g takes h6 is playable but Vanyan played rook f8 and four star resignation there is too much pressure both on f4 also this bishop is hanging and it's over you know if queen takes d5 then simply queen takes d5 and then rook takes f1 that's why understanding that already there is no defense Reshevsky resigned this is definitely one of the best games ever you can see in French defense. What I want to do right now is to go back and analyze the game with the help of Stockfish. Stockfish 12 is on and let's go through the game from move 14. So at this point rook e1 was played but we can see that Stockfish is suggesting h3. That could enable white to find a safe shelter. Instead we see rook e1 which stepped into this e5 move. White played f takes e5, after which the position collapsed quickly. Knight c3 could allow white to keep the balance, and in this case, now white is then managing to win back the pawn, and we have a total equality on the board. Uh, instead, uh, we see f takes e5, and knight takes e5 followed an absolutely precise move. d takes e5. Bishop h4 check. Yeah, another very accurate move. King takes h4. And this time we see an exchange sacrifice, guys. Rook f1. We have already covered g takes f3. So in the game, rook f1 was played. We see that it's a pretty accurate defense. And there comes queen b4 check. Vanyan is simply playing with engines precision, you know. And then queen e7 check. Bishop g5. Queen e6, yeah, a very, very accurate game. Bishop f5, rook takes f5, like a machine. Knight f4, queen takes e5 for sure. All the time, Vanyan is making Angie's first choice moves. Queen g4, and uh, rook f7. Yeah, this time, Vanyan is making a move not approved by the engine, but oh, okay, rook f7 popped up. Rook f7 suddenly popped up, but still queen d6 remains to be the top move. Rook f7 is also very strong, yes. Queen h5, knight e7, yeah, there comes the knight, another top move. g4, knight g6. Yeah, this is a perfect attack, guys. King g3, bishop d7. It's time to activate the rook. Rook a e1. Queen d6, bishop h6. Um, nothing wrong with g takes h6, you know, but in the game, rook f8 was played and resignation followed. Yes, this was truly a brilliant game by Vahanyan, and this is considered to be his most famous game ever, you know. An immortal game which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. Uh, in the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.